Okay, you guys, so this video is going to be a little bit of a different um, twist to what I normally do. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I just got back from Dragon Con yesterday. I'm exhausted. It was a long trip. Dragon Con is freaking huge, you guys. It's way too big for me. Um, but I did enjoy myself despite all that. Uh, and so I went there because I was going to be meeting up with the people that I work with and we produce uh, audiobooks. And so my job is that I'm an audiobook proofer and I also am involved in project management for the different uh, uh, books that we work on. So Dragon Con was an opportunity to go down there and meet up with my crew. I'd never met them before in real life. So it was, that was really, really fun to do. But um, I also, when I go to cons, I like to go to the panels. I like to see what the guests uh, are talking about, the you know, things they can tell us about the, the projects that they've worked on, things like that. It was really hard to go to all the panels that I wanted to go to because it was so massive. That, that thing is spread out across five hotels. The main things I was interested in was contained within the three hotels that were you know one right after another. But still, to get from one place to another was very, very arduous, very tiring, and that was quite annoying. But, uh, so, I saw that Carl Urban and Jack Quaid, well, mostly Carl Urban, that he was going to be there. So I was super interested to go to his panel because of the boys. I've been watching that. I'm not finished with the first season yet, but I've been watching it and I really enjoy it. My brother, so my brother called me and he said he sees that Carl Urban's going to be there and he wants me to give him a copy of his book, the book my brother wrote. The reason is because, and here it is, I've got the picture up on the screen, but here's the actual book, you guys. It's, you know what's really cool about this? Our whole family worked on this pretty much. I mean, my brother wrote it, I edited it, and my other brother um, did the artwork. I'm trying to find one of the really more intricate pieces of artwork that he did. But, and my sister-in-law designed the cover. She's a graphic, graphic artist. So it was basically a family affair type of project. My folks read it and helped do some editing on it. Anyway, that's, that's a long, a long ass way of trying to basically explain that my brother modeled his character in this book after Carl Urban because he's a he's a fan of Carl Urban's he has been for a long time well over a decade yeah definitely well over a decade probably 15 plus years I think I'm pretty sure so he he liked Carl Urban's acting so much he, he just really appreciates his you know his acting and so he modeled his main character after Carl Urban and he wanted me to give Carl a copy of the book well, I felt like my chances of actually being able to meet Carl were pretty much less than zero because I wasn't going to do the, you know, the uh, the paid photographs and audio um, audiographs. Listen to me, uh, autograph thing. I just I wasn't going to do that. I was just going to probably try to go to the panel, and I figured that in the panel it wouldn't be really appropriate to try to give him a copy of the book. I know sometimes they don't like you to do that, but I told my brother I would try. Well. There's a lot of these cool little things that sort of sequence of event things that sort of happened that made it to where I was able to get into the panel, but kind of barely because it, the line was huge and the place was packed and they had to cut off the line. I'm not going to get into all the little intricacies of that, but uh, I, I did make it in and I did get up and ask my question and I was petrified, you guys. I was so scared because I don't like to do public speaking. That is not me. And I have never, ever stood up in a panel and asked a question like that, ever. Like, ever, ever. Okay, one time I did ask a question in a panel, but that was like in an amazement panel, and the crowd in the panel was so small, it was just like a handful of people, so it was more like an informal meeting. So that, that doesn't count, you guys. It doesn't count. Anyway, so I got to ask the question. And I was going to show you guys a little clip of the video from that. I was able to find a copy of the panel and I wanted to share it with you guys because it was kind of, it was an exciting thing. It was a big deal and I, I thought it was pretty dang cool and I'm still pretty excited about it. So I'm going to show that to you now. Next question. I was scared to death. I was so scared. Oh, 
for doing it with us. And he said, he said make it happen. So we can help. And you're too afraid to do it. Aww. The lady in the audience. So this is for Carl. My brother's been following your career for like a decade or more. He's been admiring you forever. In fact, he loves your acting so much that he modeled a character in his very first novel after you. And he wanted me to give you a copy of the novel. So I'm wondering if I could either do it now or if I could just wait so it's not a perfect I'll have somebody bring it up here in a minute. How's that sound? Perfect. All right, awesome. That was great. That was all I was expecting, but look. He asked for the book to be brought right up there. Really surprised me. <laughs> the things you do for the love of your brothers and sisters. Unexpected when he did that. I didn't know people were saying read it. I did. I did. Couldn't tell that from where I was sitting. <laughs> it was the crappiest part of the Eaton Tanner's day, besides staring at the bottles. William Shatner. <laughs> I, I didn't at the time. I didn't see uh, Jack Quaid doing that. I saw, I saw him, and so I did the thumbs up. But I didn't notice what Jack Quaid was doing. And so at the end, oh, let me pause this a second. So at the end, when they, when he stood up, um, he he held up the book, and he goes like this to the audience to show it off. So that was unexpected and kind of exciting, and. Um, and then, but, but here in the video, it gets cut off. You don't see that part, but you do see him walking out with the book in his hand. It was kind of, it's kind of heartwarming to see this, to see that. Shaky video, yes, it was super crowded. I don't know who was taking this particular video here. He's got the book. I hope he reads it. So anyway, that was how part of my weekend went. It was pretty dang exciting. I hope that Carl Urban actually does read the book. It's, it's a really good book, and I'm not saying that just because I'm biased. I really do like this kind of story. It's got a, a bunch of different stuff in it, and I don't want to give away too much about what's involved, but let's say it starts off as a mystery, and then it evolves into something else entirely. And there are these little twists and turns. You know how I kind of think those sorts of things are cool, as I've talked about in some of my other videos. But it was just, it was just a really, it took my brother about three years to write it. And we had to hammer out so much stuff and try to figure out how to plug any plot holes. There might be some in there, but you know, we worked so hard on this. We think we got them all covered. And uh, it was, it was a long process. It was, um, it was, it was kind of frustrating at times because you know you you come to this issue and you're trying to figure out what's a, what's a good, reasonable, feasible way to solve this particular prob problem that we'd run into. But it was, it, it was really, it was a really cool experience, and it was it was great to finally get it published and to know that there had been so much family effort that had uh, gone into this. I tried to explain that to them in the panel, but by then I was away from the microphone, so they couldn't hear me. But I'm sure that if Carl actually does read it and he goes to the, you know, like the author section and the editor section and illustrator section or what, those little sections at the end of the book, uh, he will, he'll be able to put together that it was family that worked on this thing. So it would be really cool. Obviously, my brother's main dream is that it could potentially be made into a movie with Carl playing the part. Or another cool thing would be as if an audio book could be done with Carl playing the part. The chances of those things happening are pretty much extremely slim, probably less than zero. But I thought my chance of getting into the panel and actually giving Carl the book was less than zero and it happened. So you never know. But that was kind of just an exciting thing I wanted to share with you guys. If you've made it through to the end of this video, sorry, I've rambled. 
but I'm still kind of excited about all that that happened. And uh, yeah, that was cool and it was fun. And I am ready to wrap this video up now. Bye.